Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have a Sargent XC. And what that is, is it has a little notch on the side of the key there to activate that little spot right there. You saw how it went in when the key goes in. And it's just a one additional little mechanism that you have to basically push up just like a pin. Um, that's it. So we pick our normal pins first, and then, uh, at least when we're going clockwise, this one is picking the normal pins first, and then that final little spot right there will bind, and we'll have to pick that, and that little bar right there, when we pick it, it'll move out of the way and allow the plug to finish rotating. So that's all that little, little notch does there. So here we go. And this one, fortunately, I believe, picks back to front pretty well. Here we go, so that was six and five. Four. I think it's three that we need. But definitely over lifted that. I feel it just slide in. There we go. I think that's it there. Make sure we're good in the back. Don't feel anything up front. So we may have dropped something in the back. It feels like we did. And six. There we go. That's pin five, sorry. Three. Pin two. Then pin one. There we go, and you see that big rotation, so now is our uh, little check pin right here on the side. Uh, that is the last thing we gotta do, so we gotta go and find it. You can see how it's not moving freely when I accidentally bump it anymore. Just sticking my pick in doesn't move it. So we gotta find it. I think that's it right there. Might be too far in. I was hitting it the whole damn time now that I'm search for the damn thing. I can't find it. That was a normal pin. That was probably not good. In fact, actually, that's too deep of a hook. Let me... Right there. So I think... Let a little tension off. It's not wanting to move. That's it right there. It has to be. So I wonder if something else got bumped. I don't think it did. Yeah, two feels set. One feels good. Okay, I think we're still good here. Yeah, because that's not moving. Suck at hitting the damn thing. Stupid ass check pin. There we go. I had to let a little, uh, let a little, little turning pressure off there. <laughs> that was the problem. So, let me 
Let's zoom out here. And we will move that out of the way. And we'll go ahead and gut it real quick too. I'll probably fast forward through this section for you all. Oh yeah, and I do have to shim this part because the back is odd, so a normal follower just won't go through very well because of the gap. I'll show you in just a second. Oh shit. Push the cord. Yeah, there we go. And so I believe this one's the only one. So if we look at it, you can see that space right there. That's why we need that shim to cover that gap between the follower and the plug. So we'll do that. Yeah, there we go. So there we go. Yeah, you can see that all the pins our standard here is our bidding all right i'm going to see if i can demonstrate how this check pin works now so the bar right here that holds that pin in is held in by a little brass pin right here and the spring that moves this up and down is right there and so yeah there's a little brass pin holding that entire bar in there that's how that works and if we look underneath here it's really a little bit hard to see so if we look in the back, there we go, nice bright setting, right there, where my light is shining, you can see that little bitty nub right there, that is the pin we have to lift up in order for this to go down, so that pin right there, so that's what we're going to do, we go in, and we'll lift it, and that is what allows that to move up and down just like that so that is how when we got that when we're done we're at the end we're trying to move it we just go in the back and lift that pin and that's it that's all there is to that so there it is there is our sergeant xc all right everyone thanks for watching